Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we head up to our neighbor to the north in Canada, or more precisely, Ontario, Canada, with the frauditor known as Ontario Audits, as he attempts to audit a courthouse and he gets his camera touched. And you know how frauditors hate that. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Ontario Audit. We are back again at the Superior Court of Justice, Ontario Court of Justice in Brampton, Ontario. We'll be exercising, peacefully exercising our rights to film in public as per Section 2, Part B of the Canadian Charter of Rights. Let's see how they do over here. Ministry Court of Justice, Superior Court of Justice, Ontario Court of Justice. Hi, sir. Can I help um, you? Hey, how's it going, officer? Good. How you doing? What, what are you doing? I'm just doing some public filming. How's it going? Public filming for what? What's your name, sorry? It's Constable Braille. What's your badge number? It's right on my thing right here. Two six nine six. What are you doing here? Why are you stepping closer to me, sir? Buddy, what are you doing? I'm just doing some public filming. Public filming? Can you go do that somewhere else, please? On my own private property? Yeah, this is public property, but you shouldn't be filming people and stuff. So it is public property? It is. Okay. Can you please leave? Are you acting under the color of law right now? Hey, dumbass, uh, that's U.S. law right there. And I'm sure Canada has its own variation, so you really need to study up on that, dimwit. What's your issue, buddy? I just want to exercise my Canadian Charter rights and you're trying to tell me I can't. You got some mental health issues? Well, he's a frauditor, so there is a high probability that he does have some mental instability with him. So you might want to be careful. You never know when this guy can snap. <laughs> Do you get some mental health issues? Really? What was your name again? I already told you. You have my badge. It's 2696. Yeah, I forget your name. What was your name again? You, you got my badge, okay? You rewind your video and you'll know. Okay. Stop trying to bully uh, members of the public off of public property. I'm just asking what you're doing here. I told you what I'm doing. I'm doing some public filming. What's the problem with that? Call your superior. He's going to tell you the same thing. I'm not doing anything illegal. You should just go back to work, officer. Why don't you go home? You should just go back to work. I'm at work right now. I'm working. You're working? Doing what? I'm working on a story. I'm doing some public filming. I'm independent media. Now you're the main story. You're the main character of the story now. Thinking you can intimidate me, walking up real close to me, you're thinking I'm to gonna leave. With your, with your, uh, I'm trying to intimidate you with my camera, sir. You have a gun on your hip. I'm literally just doing some public filming. I'm independent media. <laughs> Always trying to give me unlawful orders. I'm a member of this community. I'm a member of the public. Why do they never treat me as a member of the community? Just because I have a camera. Get out of here. You're not here for business. Get out. Get out. Get out. So, put, put You're not here for me. business. Get out, okay? I'm allowed in here. It's a public lobby, officer. Not, not unless you're officer, will you arrest me if I enter this public lobby? 
If you try to come in here again, you will get arrested. Hey, Frauditor, I got a question for you. Why the hell are you using a, uh American script in Canada. I mean, here in the United States, that damn script barely ever works. I mean, it is so uh, unbelievably stupid that a lot of people can see right straight through it most of the, most of the time. But it never really works out in Canada. So why try it? Okay, thank you. Do any of you ladies work here, by the way? It's a public lobby, buddy. You just set yourself up for a lawsuit. You can't just kick people off public property because you feel like it, Constable Braille. All right, so Constable Braille's ducking and hiding. So we're gonna go across the street to the police station, Peel Police Station, I believe, and write up a complaint for him. Well, well, look what we have here, folks. Premises under video surveillance, right next to the photography, audio or video recording is prohibited. Are you going the Long Island audit route with this particular argument? Because, well, it is an idiotic premise to begin with. So let's continue on because I get tired of debunking that one every single time it pops up in a, dia in a Long Island audit video. Wow, why did you touch me like that? Don't don't touch me like that. Do you think you're above the law and you can just touch me? What's your name, officer? Constable, what's your name and badge number? You want to put your hands on me and assault me? You think you're above the law? What's your name and badge number, sir? I'm not gonna tell you nothing. No, you have it on your you have it on your vest, no, not displaying. Tell. It's not. The Canadian Police Services Act says you should have it displayed. So you're not going to give me your name? It's not part of my uniform. So you just assaulted me and now you're not going to give me your name. You don't want to be held accountable, huh? Push your camera out of my face. Thank you for saying that on record. You know that that's a summary offense? Did you know that that's a summary offense, officer? Did you know that you, you just admitted to a summary offense on camera? How do you feel? You're a real clown, eh? How many people's rights you violate every day, man? God. Pull people over and tell them you smell weed in the car? You're pathetic, buddy. You could have just came and said hi to me. Then why are you following me? Because you just assaulted me, bud. You've been following What's your me name and badge number? You've been following me since lunch. I wasn't with following your you over there. And even if I was, yeah, what does it are. matter? Buddy, I don't care. Am I you breaking can the law? You can talk with me. You can try to get under my skin. I just want but your name and badge number. Work. I just want your name and badge number. It's going to work. <laughs> so you assault me. What if I touch your camera? What would you do? I didn't assault you. What would you do if I touched that taser right there? Find out. Well, now, if you're dumb enough to try it, then go ahead and do it, and let's just see how fast you end up in a set of shiny new bracelets. But you know what? I think this is as far as he's going to go with that particular question, because I think he knew he screwed up at that point. But let's continue on. <laughs> see, but what, 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 you can't find out when you touch me, because you're above the law. You don't even have to identify yourself. It's not the case, dude. You're that just, clearly is just, the case. You're just trying to start something. Sir, I would have said hi to you all that, but you came and you said... Oh, you can say hi to me Dude, now. you went oh. like that? I was like, oh, wicked, this you guy's awesome. Say, and then you came and went, boom, oh, hit my hand and, and said, my camera. In your mind, you're like, yeah, wicked, I got this guy's attention, which is what I've been trying to do. Brother, you clearly have no idea what I do out here. I well, exercise my rights peacefully. I hold do? government officials accountable. I do not... How do you do that? How do you hold government officials accountable? What is maybe, it that you're maybe doing you should look into me. Maybe you should look into me. I don't really want to because i don't care i've got multiple complaints on i got officers myself in Durham. i got myself to worry about i don't need to worry about you clearly you need people like me to hold you accountable because you think you can just go around touching anybody's equipment touching anybody did you see that happen you got up in my face with your camera so 
as we on so what kind of reaction do you think i got in your face it's all on film that? brother that's why i film that's why i do what i do to, yeah you want to tell agitate, me that i walked up on you to agitate is exactly what you i've got you for. on film multiple times lying now and admitting to a summary offense just because you narrate something doesn't mean that that's what happened. It just, it's on film, brother. You can film, say brother. whatever you want on your camera, dude. It's on film. You know why? The only people that are going to watch that are your friends, if you even have any. Okay. You think that's going to get you views? All right. Yeah, I'm a nobody, man. I just upload to nobody. You might. Maybe you have people that follow you. That oh, maybe I do now. Stuff. Maybe you don't. Look, Constable, do you want to start on a fresh foot? Do you want to start on a brand new page? Sure. I'll give sure. you an opportunity. Sure. Keep what's your, na what's your name and badge number? Sir. Sure. Keep What's your name and badge number, sir? Go. You're not getting. Okay, well then we can't start in the fresh. I'm not obligated to tell you. I don't care what your name is either. My name shouldn't matter. It shouldn't be relevant. It does matter because you just assaulted me, I sir. I assault you. You grabbed my camera. You touched my camera. You already admitted it. There's no reason to, to lie now. Okay. So touching somebody's property is an assault now? Yes. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's and a I'm summary gonna, offense. I'm not going to dispute with you. You didn't just touch my camera as well. You touched my hand too. You physically put contact to, to me, dude. sir. Dude, you're trying to get a first dude, what? That's the one you want. You're just talking, sir. I'm trying to get your name and badge number because I want to hold you accountable because you just assaulted me. You still can. And you can. clearly think I'm that you're above the law. You still can. I'm not hard to find. Well, how do I find you then? Well, you've been following me around all day. How, how am I supposed to get your name? You can figure it out. Your Peel you Regional gotta, Police refusing to identify to a member of the public oh, who you just assaulted. To, I'm not obligated to identify myself to you. So You're obligated I, to have your name displayed somewhere. No, I'm not. That's in the Police Services Act. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. You have a nice day. You go run and hide in your courthouse. It's not that I'm trying to run and hide. I got business to do. I'm like... Yeah, try and assault me again, man. I'll tell you something, Frauditor. Uh... This guy has something that you obviously never will have, and that is a job. Jobs have require you to perform duties, and therefore he had to go perform his duties, which don't include messing with you at that point. So you can just uh, run along and go cry in your little pillow that... The officer didn't uh, identify it to you. So go run along home now, you little punk. Well, we need to find out that man's name and badge number ASAP. So we're back at Peel Regional Police Station after being assaulted by two officers. We've interacted with two Peel Region officers and we've been assaulted twice. The tyranny is real out here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna need some backup out here. I am starting to fear a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like they may conspire on me, follow me back to my car, which doesn't really happen because I'm, I move, I, I'm pretty good at hiding my car from law enforcement. And, well, there you have it, folks. Uh, he's also paranoid and delusional, so I guess he's truly a frauditor after all because a lot of these frauditors are definitely paranoid and they're definitely delusional. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.